Hey guys, we got one that's been tripping the outdoor breaker. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. It's this breaker? It's so hot, it hurts to touch that cabinet. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, the only reason I was called out here is because I changed the indoor system and um, they thought somehow by calling me they could get work for free. Hmm, let's see if we just do ohms to ground. Let's see if I can get this where y'all can see it. That ain't working. Three, four mega ohms. That's not going to beat, but it can very well trip the breaker. And for all the electricians out here who are going to say no, that's not going to trip a breaker. Yes, it will. Um, it's hard to explain. If you know Ohm's law, you understand it. That doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. But you got to understand, I'm testing with a nine volt battery and I'm getting three mega ohms to ground. What if it's 240 volts under load? It's gonna be much different. Even my megometer only goes to 20 mega ohms. It doesn't go any lower than that because anything any lower is going to trip a breaker so I understand the calculations with Ohm's law yes I very well understand it but if you have not done this kind of work and you're just an electrician saying hey that's not going to trip a breaker then you don't understand the dynamics of one of these systems it can very well trip a breaker I also, I should mention, about two, two years ago, replaced this compressor because it wasn't pumping to capacity. Right now we're gonna check ohms to ground. I'm getting 3.8 mega ohms. 3.9. Three point nine. I'm gonna go get my mega mega meter 
and show the skeptic. All right, first I want to show this. These are mega ohms. Anything 20 or below, it considers to be bad. Anything. And that is designed for HVAC equipment. Let me see if I can clamp onto that. Clamp onto one of these. Shield it a little bit. See how it reads bad? I'm just saying, anything 20 or below has the possibility of tripping right, So that's why when you see me read something like three mega ohms with my field piece, I don't even break out the megometer or mega, whatever you want to call it. I don't even break it out because there's no sense. Anything 20 or below is going to tell me it's bad. And if I'm testing three with this, what do you think I'm getting with this? I mean, this is testing with high voltage and my field piece is testing with a nine volt battery. I'm gonna tell you something else. When I replaced the compressor in that system, I did it for free because I didn't diagnose it when it was low on Freon and we ended up replacing the air handler. And it was like immediately the next day it wasn't bumping to capacity so um, as a matter of good business I had employees at the time I just replaced it myself didn't really cost me anything except the price of the compressor that thing was up and running and good so if she thinks that I'm gonna warranty that when I did it for free got another thought coming if y'all can't tell I'm a little upset with this particular property manager because um, I've done stuff like that to try to keep their business and stay in good graces and then they start using somebody else so I'm gonna quote them a whole new condenser because they have a new air handler I'm not sure I want to because sometimes I have to hound them to get paid. So um, we'll see where we go from here. Thanks for watching. That's just a part of doing business. And I'll catch you on the next one.